Great job by Tulsa. Uh, they played hard. Uh, those two, their sisters, they um, they get after it. Um, they're really good players. And obviously, Lescay probably had a career game tonight. Um, 21 points, 14 rebounds. But um, as far as for us, um, probably the one of the poorest efforts I've seen defensively from us, I think that's the storyline of the game. It's how bad we were defensively um, guarding the ball. Uh, nobody on our team could guard the ball. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what defense you're in. You can be a man, you can be in a 2-3, you can be in a 1-2-2, a 3-2. Two, two, two. If you can't guard the ball, it doesn't matter. Um, and we just let them have their way off the dribble. Um, you know, our, our philosophy is, is to force them baseline and try to keep them out of the middle because when you allow people to go middle, it just opens up so much stuff. And we, we just, we're just not buying into that. Um, we're not being disciplined from that standpoint. We let them get into the paint too much. And, you know, whether it was a pull-up, whether it was kicking out for threes, whether it was drop-offs, whether it was layups, once they got the ball into the middle of the floor, um, you can pretty much count it. Um, on them scoring so just really really disappointed in our defensive effort because we're you know we're supposed to be a defensive minded team and right now that's not what we are we're focusing on the wrong things and so you know this this buy probably couldn't come at a better time for us um, because we need some some time off some time away from each other and regroup and really think about some things and, and you know get after it uh defensively and try to get back you know to to that defensive minded team you know we've taken the press off here i'm not pressing as much I'm trying to find ways to get us going, trying to find ways to keep us out of foul trouble, trying to find ways to not give up easy baskets. I felt like we were picking up fouls in the, in the press. I felt like we were giving up over the top passes. So I really wanted to, you know, press after free throws and, and kind of press with the right lineups. And so we've kind of gone away from pressing as much, but we got off to such a lackadaisical start defensively that I went to the press earlier than what I wanted to because I was hoping it was going to get us going and get us fired up a little bit. Kept going man, man, full court. We 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 pulled out everything in our arsenal today, and nothing seemed to happen. Nothing seemed to work. Nothing seemed to change the effort. So, you know, just a um, all around just a, a a bad performance by us today. You referenced the the schedule there, coach, and. With the break and then I think it's three straight road games, do I don't do you try to to hope a change of scenery uh, changes things or sparks the team? You know, I mean, going on the road, you kind of take that mentality to to switch things up at all and hope that sparks it all. I mean, obviously you're you're kind of searching for that spark. Do you think that could be it in some way? I hope so. I, I hope something can give us a spark, Ronnie. I just. Um... You know, trying to switch up things on the defense, trying to switch up things offensively. You know, we're pulling things out of our out of our butt right now to try to, you know, pre try to find the right button to push to, you know, to spark us and to get us going. But, you know, we just seem we just we just can't find that chemistry. You know, we can't find that chemistry within the first five. Um, we can't find the consistency in practice. You know, I thought going into Central Florida on Wednesday, we had two really solid practices, probably the best two practices that we've put together back to back not individually, but two solid practices back to back. And, you know, we, we didn't score the ball well on Wednesday, but I thought we defended. I mean, we held them to 52 points, you know, that's all you can ask for. I wish some layups and some free throws would have went our way, but then you come out tonight and you give up 68 points, you know, so, and, and we're just so inconsistent. And, and I keep preaching it to them every day that until we become consistent in practice, because we were up and down, on Thursday and Friday, until we become consistent in practice, we're going to continue to see the inconsistent play that we're seeing right now. And some of it, you know, another game, especially on the offensive end, kind of when you get behind in that first quarter, um, does that just kind of go into confidence kind of mentally when you when you get down, if that kind of happens game after game? Is that an, an aspect do you think, you know, slow starts at all is kind of attributing this and that affecting maybe – not being able to hit shots and not seeing things go in, that type of thing? But, you know, it's not even the outside shots, it's the layups. How many layups are we missing? And that, that becomes deflating. You know, we missed nine, I think we counted nine or 10 layups against Central Florida in key, in key situations at key times. And it was the same story tonight. You know, we missed tons of layups, you know, whether it was on the break, whether it was driving, you know, setting a great high ball screen and getting to the rim for a wide open layup and missing it, whether it's missing 
back to the basket, chippies, whether it's missing offensive rebounds, you know, and, and we do tons of layup drills every single day. We start practice off with probably three to four layup drills, some without defense, some with defense, some transition layup drills, two on one, three on twos, because we know we're going to create a lot of those opportunities in the games. And we just, um, we're leaving too many easy points out there on the floor and it's starting to become deflating. But if you buy into the defensive end of the floor and you buy into who we're supposed to be, which is a defensive minded team, and you believe in it and you know you can get stops, then you shouldn't, it, you, sh you should still have faith in it because you're going to run down to the other floor, to the other end of the floor and get a stop. But right now, you know, when, like you said, when our offense isn't going well and when we aren't hitting shots, we don't give a good effort on the defensive end of the floor. And as a coach, I got to figure out how to change that mindset. Uh, yeah, Coach, with a little bit of uh, time off for uh, the game coming up this Saturday, is there anything specifically that you guys want to work on um, in this break that you have to prepare for that game? Yeah, obviously one of them's got to be guarding the ball. You know, we might go back to, to, to old school, you know, uh, just zigzagging, guarding the ball, keeping the ball out of the paint, our angles on our closeouts, um, because it's um, it was pretty bad tonight. And I think that's really what – you know, allow them to score the ball so easily. You know, like I said, if you can't guard the ball, it doesn't matter what defense you're in. But, you know, definitely probably, you know, go back and do some some guarding the ball drills. And, um, you know, to me, that 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 was the story tonight. Anything else for Coach? I would take questions for Dominique. Dominique, you've been around, you know, veteran and been around this program and team for a while. Just what are your thoughts about, you know, you've kind of seen ups and downs over the years of what it would maybe take to, to break through this. Is it as simple as, as obviously getting a win or how do you think the team can kind of snap out of this at some point? Um, a win definitely will help tremendously. It helps solve a lot of problems. Um, but really just, we just got to find a way within ourselves and then together as a team to find a way to get through this, this troubling time for us. On the offensive end, you know, Coach Benio talked about it. What, um, just what have you seen, especially as a post player down low, as far as getting easy looks or kind of clean looks, has that been difficult, you know, this month, last few weeks, or, you know, just how can you maybe assess how, how the offense has kind of been during this this stretch? Um, I mean, it's not really – it's not hard. We just got to be able to work. You just got to want the ball. You got to work for it. You got to – I mean, work to get position. Um, I mean, guards, we just got to – you know, we make good passes. I mean, post – it just goes hand-in-hand. Hand. Like, guards have to make good passes. Post got to, you know, move the – catch the ball and things like that. You just – you just got to work. You just got to give it effort on both sides.